Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, after going through a few social link events, we went out to a fireworks festival with everyone. It was pretty nice. And uh, had a few other kind of story events as we're kind of, well, waiting for the results of the police investigation. And we also um, found out that Naoto, the uh, young detective character, is uh, sticking around and uh, is now a student at our school. So, we'll see how that all goes. So, go ahead and uh, keep on working through here. It is the evening of September 1st, so we're now out of August. And I think what we're going to be doing for the night is going to hang out at the hospital. Let's see, what is the status of my social link? Rank 8. Okay. I'll have to see if it's going to rank up or not. But... what we can do for the night so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do and we're gonna get paid for it so it's always good all right we get our uh, little courage boost here uh good work oh yeah so this is just a uh, Basic event here. No advancement to the social link just yet. But yeah, we have several days where we can do the janitor stuff. So over here, students talking. I feel so tired coming back to school. So sleepy. I can't believe that I was early for class every single morning until just about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my entrance exams all summer. Oh, she must be a third year. By the way, I'm so relieved that they caught the guy behind those murders. I was surprised that it turned out to be a student. I've seen so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. All right, classes have ended for today. Have the incidents finally been resolved? Only hope the same tragedies won't be repeated. Now, I'm wondering here. Uh, did you hear the murderer is someone our age, or so I heard? The guy was really weird, like whacked out of his mind all the time. They even said so on TV. Uh, you have some kind of sicko to be so to do something that terrible. We gave her the charm to veil, right? Because we have some of these uh, quests to turn in. It's amazing. I feel different just having this veil near me. Oh, but if I put it on, suddenly I'll stand out and everybody will look at me like I'm crazy. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about myself again. Uh, please take this. Received five beautifully wrapped chest keys. All right. Oh, I'll take the chest keys. Now, were there any other... I can check. And these are the books. A girl at the riverbank asked you to find this brooch. A lovely wife in the shopping district asked you to find this horn. I think I already turned that in. But the brooch, I'm not sure I did. So I guess we can go over to the riverbank.
Which, of course, there's no one here because it's raining. Yep. Okay. Well. Uh, let me just look at my stats here. Yeah, our expression is maxed out. We really do need some more diligence. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and head into town. Go to the Aya restaurant and do the big beef bowl challenge. And see if we can't get some more stats. Because it is a rainy day. And I have the cash. Alright, we accepted the rainy day special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. I could really use some diligence out of this. Alright, yep, our bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. Alright, unable to finish the bowl. See, we got understanding, knowledge, and diligence. Good. Hi, oh, yeah, you just missed her again. My daughter just went on a delivery, so I'm glad that our business is flourishing. It's all thanks to her. Okay. He's mentioning his daughter. You're back. All right, we can work as a janitor at the hospital, and that is exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. If your relationship with Sayoko won't deepen just yet. Oh, geez, really? All right, well... Keep on working on it. Uh, good work. Can you report today's progress? Yep, okay, so... I feel like the relationship is going to become closer soon. Okay. All right, class event for today. Do a quick save. Let's see if we can find that one ca uh, one person on the riverbank. I can't remember if I turned this in or not. Oh. This looks like a new quest here. Watching the news sure is depressing. For someone to just write off a person's death like it was nothing, that's a cry and shame. You heard, right? That is special in the crime circumstances and whatnot. I don't think he really knows what it means when a person dies. Do you have some time? I have a small request if you're busy. Sure. You ever taking a walk around here at night? It's nice in the day and all, but at night you get a real change of scenery. I enjoy it. There's no city lights, all the stores are closed, and it's so quiet you can hear the river. Only problem is that you've got to watch your step. It's so dark, you don't know where your feet are landed. I suppose I could carry a flashlight, but it kind of ruins the atmosphere. I think it'd be alright if I had a lamp, maybe. But even that would be a pain in the neck to hold, just, and the wind would just blow it out. I was thinking that an eternal lamp or something might be nice. I could find you one. You know where to find one? Are you serious? If I had one, I'd sure be happy. Think you could bring one to me? I'll have to re... I'll have a little something waiting for you in return. Okay, I don't happen to have one. It'd be a different story if this were one of them games my grandchildren play, though. Okay, so it's in the, um... It's in the Void Quest area. 
Okay, here's the girl, I think. Uh, I don't want to go home. Ah, flower brooch. Thank goodness, this way I'll match my sister. Uh, this is for you, thank you. Received three value medicine. Oh, and she has another quest. Be honest, I have another request for you. Do you think you could help me again? Sure. I I found another way that I'm not like my sister. This time I need a leaf pochette. Can you find one for me like you did the last time? Sure. All right. I happen to find one. All right. So for today, we're going to head back to the school. I see the check something. Do I have a strength persona? Never remember. Yes, I do. Okay. Good. I think we're gonna go to soccer practice today. Yo, that's what we're going to practice. Yep, we'll go to soccer All practice. Right. Go stopped you on your way to practice. Okina City in front of Okina Station. So, what's this all about? I'm gonna skip out on practice, man. I think you owe us an explanation. Oh, there he is. Kochan. A bunch of girls. <laughs> hey, sorry for calling you here on such short notice. That's okay. We weren't doing anything anyway. What's going on? What does it look like? I set up a group to blind date for us. Huh? Huh? Why didn't you tell me? You can hear the girls conversing with each other. From Yosagami High, huh? How'd they get here? By bus? Yeah, that's way on the boonies. I wonder how they plan to get home. Maybe they're hoping we'll invite them back to our place. Pervs. I think they're passable as far as looks go, don't you? I'm out of here. Huh? Uh, no, wait. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Looks like tonight isn't going to work out. Maybe you row back home on the bus in an awkward silence. I said, wait, damn it. I never asked you to try and set me up with anyone. I only went because you told me it was important. Don't drag me to that BS. If you want to get a girlfriend, do it yourself. I did it for you. You're always going on about how girls are just a pain in the ass, but it's all an act. What do you mean an act? The quarrel starts to escalate. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and jump in. Sorry. He's right. Sorry. Yelling won't solve anything. You're just scared. You hear that? Scared. Scared of what? Girls! You're scared of being rejected again, aren't you? That's why you give them all the cold shoulder. You don't have to worry about it if they hate you already, right? No different with soccer. You're half-assing it. You're scared to play seriously and hit your plateau. You're afraid that if you play hard, you'll be depressed when you can't improve anymore. Huh? What? Now you're just making things up. You take all the fun out of life if you never have to feel pain. What's the point of living like that? I don't need you to lecture me about my life. You got that? It's my life. You guys have nothing to do with it. Or random voice line. Uh, I guess we'll respond this way. Of course we do. What am I to you? What is Natsuo to you? And what are you to Natsuo and me, huh? 
Don't talk like we have nothing to do with your life, dumbass. Sorry. Yeah. Goes right. Girls are a pain in the ass, but I don't hate them. I'm just scared. They come up and say they like me. Then they tell me they can't understand me, and they get disappointed and break up with me. Makes me wonder about myself. I'm talking about that girl you dated in middle school, right? Jeez. Dated? I don't think you even call it that. Still rem I still remember. She said, you're not the guy I thought you were. The real Daisuke is the one on the field. I think about it. I think about going through all that again. I get scared or maybe lonely. It's hard to tell. Forget about her. There's always going to be people going to be people like that, but you have to just let them go and move on. But I can't let it go. I still have feelings. What will happen to them? Oh, you really liked her, huh? I just she asked me out, but she's my first girlfriend. I was thrilled. All I wanted to do was hold her close to me. Then you gotta go settle it. If you don't, you'll carry this baggage for who knows how long. You're too nosy, you know that? <laughs> yeah, what of it? Thanks. You can be pretty sincere when you want to, Daisuke. Knock it off. Daisuke's face is red. Got your bond strengthened with Cohen, Daisuke. All right, rank eight. All right, Natsu, it'll be your job to make sure Daisuke doesn't get cold feet about this thing. I won't, dang it. Thanks, man. Welcome back. Okay, so I don't think we can work as a janitor at the hospital today. All right, so what am I going to do with myself for the evening? I'd like something that boosts my diligence. Expressions maxed out. As I said before. Yeah. Use some diligence. You received a text message. It's from Yukiko. Do you like scary movies? There's this new horror movie called One Missed Text. I don't think anyone wants to go with me, but I don't want to see it alone. If you want to see it, call me, please. The movie Yukiko wanted to watch is now being shown at the theater. If you go to the movie theater, perhaps you should invite Yukiko. Interesting. All right, so. Does working on the model kit increase diligence? Give it a try. Decided to build a model. You suddenly assembled the complex pieces. Diligence is increased. Very good. You found a piece in the corner of the box you thought you'd lost. All right, another day off from school. Hello, this is Yukiko. Um, can I meet you today if you have some free time? I'm actually gonna pass on that. Mm. Pass on that. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'll see you at school. She hung up.
All right, we haven't bought anything from the home shopping program. All right, let's see what we got. Charm drape. Wear it and feel tough. Too heavy soup for 21,000 yen. Two chest keys, a memento of excitement, plus five prize stickers. I think we're going to go with the charm drape. See if that provides any better gear for our characters. For today, what we're going to do is go hang out with Marie. There's Rise. Oh, Marie, right. There she is. You're late. All right, we have the right persona. Hurry, let's go. All right. Let's see how this goes. Samigawa Riverbank, you brought a contemplative Marie here. I don't get this. What am I supposed to do? The lady at the store said this comb was something special. She said it was old. Yeah, she did. She also said that she's never seen one like this before. What did she say? Museum? Gallery? Would there be combs there? I don't get it. Does it make sense? What are they going to use them for? Um, they're works of art. Works of art? You mean like paintings and those stone thingies? Oh, maybe it is. Just like those, this comb has no point. Do you know anyone that knows about stuff like that? Who around here would know about art and antiques? Old Lady Shiroku? Old man Daidara? Maybe the old lady? Does the Shiroku store handle art or antiques? I don't think of it. The owner of the Daidara, of Daidara considers himself an artist. Apparently he does. He knows something about this rare comb. He told me about Daidara. But there's someone who might know, huh? This town has a ton of weird people here. Let's go. Maybe we'll find something out. All right, we're gonna head on over there. Oh yeah, this guy. They sell these? Who would buy them? Yuki-chan, wait for me. All this stuff is so heavy. Ugh. I knew it. Good day, Natsuku. Marie Chan. I'm guessing Teddy's here as well. Yep. Huh? Sensei? Emi Chan? Oh. Looks like I have stumbled across a big scoop. Well, well. And you too? Oh no. What should I do? They're on to us, Yuki Chan. I'm buying supplies for the inn. 
I ran into Teddy on the way, so I'm letting him carry everything. What? Yuki-chan totally blew me off. It's all piled up next to the store. I can't carry another thing. Who is this? How cruel, Emi-chan. Have you already forgotten about little Teddy? And after all that heavy petting, you gave my fur. Oh, that's right. You never met Teddy out, out of his costume yet. Teddy? Oh, kindness and fur. Correct. That's my Emmy chan This is love. This has to be the power of love. Yeah, it's not. What are you... Uh, yeah, what are you two doing here? Oh, shopping, I guess. We're doing some research. I see. Uh, uh, here? This. Hey, do you know what this is? Oh ho, this is... It's a very unique comb. What about it? You know anything about it? Hmm? Huh? I, I'm sorry, I don't know anything. Me neither, I've never seen this before. But it's really pretty, nice and shiny. Ah, oh, so that's why you're here. The owner does seem like he'd know about antiques. I knew it. Will he know anything about it? I'm not sure, but let's ask and find out. All right. Leave the interrogation to me. Ay. Hey, buddy, I got some questions. For me? Well, unless it's about art, you ain't getting any answers. Um, do you know anything about this? A comb? I don't sell co- Hmm. This here is a beaut. Good craftsmanship. Pretty old, too. Yet it doesn't show much wear. It's perfect. Almost too perfect. Where'd you get this? Um... Um, do you know anything about this? We'd be grateful for anything you could tell us. Hmm, nope. It's a comb, definitely. But whether it's just an accessory or part of a festival... Hank, I don't even know when it was made. Oh. I see. Well, hold on there, Missy. I can at least tell you what it's made out of. This is, yeah, it's not your average bamboo. It's something similar to a rare type of bamboo that grows in the Chugoku region, but... But it's not? No, it's definitely not normal bamboo. It's beautiful, though. I'd almost think it's something from another world. Another world? So what world is it from? I don't understand. Marie looks like she's in pain. You all right? Um, un-all right. My head, it hurts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold there, Missy. I have a first aid kit around here somewhere. I'll go look for some medicine, too. It may be faster to get some from a neighbor. Wait up, Yuki-chan. I'll go with you. Ugh. What is this? What the heck? I don't get it. This is bugging me. Something pops up, then just disappears. Just when I had it. Calm down. I know, I know, but... It makes me angry. I still can't remember anything. Marie is trying hard to regain her lost memory. You can sense Marie's urgency. Alright, rank 7. I'm going home. My head still hurts. Bye. After thanking everyone, you escort Marie back to the Velvet Room, which isn't that far away. You're back. All right. There we go. And the thing we're going to do for the night is work on the model kit again. With those diligence points. You almost made the mistake of using piece 9 where it says to use a 6. The model is not complete. Keep on working on it later.
All right, over here, students talking. You know, I don't really see the police in town anymore. I've seen on the news that there are still some loose ends in this case, but the police are ready to end everything. The what? You mean those murders? Why are you still thinking about that stuff from that far back? Ignore that. The school trip starts on Thursday. Both the first and second years are going. I might end up in the same group as Reset. I'm so looking forward to it. Gee, she never even cared about the idols until now. Ah, uh, Mr. Hosoi. Looks like we're having quite an eventful year. It's so weird. Out of the murder incidents, an idol comes to town, and then a detective shows up, too. This town used to be so carefree. Every year was more of the same until this year came along. Anyway, I'm supposed to cover haiku today. Get out your textbooks. Haiku, unlike senyu, contain kigo, which are words or phrases that can be associated with a particular season. Alright, why don't I test the waters with a Kigo-related question? None switch, huh? Which of the following is a Kigo for fall? Apparently, it's brisk. Alright, you gave the answer you think is correct. Well, I'm impressed. Not switch, on. You're correct. While brisk is an adjective usually used regardless of season, it is a fall kigo. So if you're writing a haiku, don't use that word to describe a season that isn't fall. I think we gave the correct answer. We got some knowledge. Alright, so what do we got? Um. Yukiko. Yukiko seems very nervous. Maybe you should hang out with Yukiko after school. And Yosuke as well. Yosuke looks like he's in anguish. Maybe you should hang out with Yosuke after school. We'll see. And Naoki as well. We should hang out with Naoki after school. Well, we'll see. But I think this is where we're going to end the episode. So we'll go ahead and... What is Eddie doing here? Yo, sup, Sensei? Are you on your way home? Eddie is sitting here with an exaggerated nonchalant nonchalance. And I get excited when school's over. This feeling of freedom is like such a rush. What are you doing here? I'm visiting. I want to see what it's like to be a student. I want to know more about this school thing that everyone goes to. And it's much more fun than I thought it would be. One day, I w one day won't be enough. Keep any plans to keep coming to school from here on out. Hope this doesn't cause any problems. Probably get a uniform and I'm just gonna come to school. Alright, yeah. But we're gonna end the episode here. Alright, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.